Hello YouTube and welcome to uh, episode 3 of the Poison Mod Let's Play series. Uh, I'm logging back into the world. I did actually do a little bit of mining since the last episode. Got 4 more diamonds. Got quite a lot more iron but I want to uh, reserve it because I want to build the first few industrial craft machines today. First I'm going to have to make this uh, furnace that I had earlier. Take 3 refined iron, 4 tin and this rubber here. Get this copper that I have. And we're going to be building a generator. Now generators are the basic way of producing energy within industrial craft. Oh, and I forgot my redstone. Just going to get... Um, generators are the, yeah, the basic way of producing energy. They work much like a furnace in the idea that they use up, um, they use up energy. Oh, no, they use up coal. And they, but instead of actually making items, it actually, um, uses the... Uh, energy to power other machines so let's just uh, plop this generator down here so what happens is is usually when you go up to a um, furnace you would put the whatever you want to smelt in the top but nothing goes I mean nothing goes in the top not even iron uh, because that's um, energy input so basically if you put a battery or something up in there whatever energy that you produce with the generator goes into that top slot Whatever you put in the bottom slot is burned up to turn into energy. In this instance, um, it looks like the uh, energy is just being used up. So the first machine I want to build, and is that finished? Yes it is. I'm going to upgrade my furnace. It's going to set up some basic cabling because uh, once I get more than one machine, in, uh, usually the uh, generators provide energy to the adjacent um, slot so if I had like an electric furnace here it would provide energy straight from the generator to that furnace but uh, I want to have more than one machine in this line so I'll have probably like one or two electric furnaces, a macerator, an extractor and a compressor and yeah it, it stacks up and it won't, all those machines won't be able just to uh, go all around the generator and even if it did. Uh, you would. You wouldn't be able to access the generator to put any energy. Um, put any coal in. So that would be a bit useless. So I'm just going to um, upgrade my furnace to an iron furnace, uh, like so. I'm going to check up on my rubber plants because I need a little more rubber for this. Um, if not, yeah, I got some uh, rubber slots. Have. question is will that be enough now I did notice when I was um, working on uh, like my sugar canes over there a while ago is that the rub there was actually a rubber slot uh, a rubber spot on the, one of these uh, rubber trees over here so I'm just going to I'm just a bit curious to see if that is uh, respawned yet looks like it hasn't yeah I'm going to uh, reinstall my jar mods. I did end up removing any iron because that uh, decided to uh, mess up every single time I looked up a recipe so yeah so um, that's not going right uh, completely to plan but I do have quite a lot of bones at this point so I could just go along and uh, bone me on some of those um, rubber tree slap saplings that I put down. That doesn't sound too much of a bad idea. I might want to start on get, uh, getting to work on that farm that I wanted to today and I think I'm just going to go with a normal um, vanilla farm for now and maybe make a uh, dedicated industrial craft crops farm. What I want to do is get some um, passive food generation because uh, I, uh, when, especially when you're like sprinting through the caves like I was earlier, I actually uh, lost um, food bars pretty quickly. So, just going to, uh, do I have, no, I bone meal them all. Hmm. Saplings down. Oh, that's good. Multiple rubber uh, spots on the same section. Right, it's going to get this. Sorry about this. I'm probably going to cut out. Oh, I won't need to do this actually that much anymore, so that's an upside, I guess. So yeah, you know what I'm doing, I'm just collecting rubber, so I'll be right back once I'm finished with that bit. 
and and I'm back. I um, made the next part. I uh, actually finished the electric furnace, which is uh, the recipe isn't too hard. You put the um, normal fern, like the iron furnace in the middle, two bits of redstone, and an electric circuit, which is made by putting copper cable at the top and the bottom, two bits of redstone, and a uh, bit of refined iron. Just gonna sort out my inventory and plop this thing down. So yeah, once the electric furnace gets power some of it gets drained out of the generator and it's ready to uh, actually start um, well cooking and the great thing about this is that it actually stores the e energy rather than uh, using it up and then once it um, it stops it loses energy in this case it doesn't it just keeps it and it makes it much more efficient especially when you're doing things in smaller batches like now because I just want to build um, actually I think I need one more bit there and electric furnaces are really useful Let's just leave it at that. Just going to, going to see if I can uh, get some more copper down here. And the electric furnace is actually a little bit faster than the um, iron furnace as well. So it just makes things a little bit quicker. I want to get some more copper cable. And I'm going to be able, uh, once I finish getting that copper cable, I'll be able to. Um, <laughs> I'll be able to uh, make the next item on the list, which is the Materator. Materator, another item from equivalent, um, not equivalent exchange, I don't even have that mod in the uh, Another mod from um, Industrial Craft, um, I mean another item from Industrial Craft, which allows you to double your ore intake by uh, turning ores into um, ore dust, and that can be smelted into in two ingots, um, which is really cool. Make the electric circuit, and uh, which you just saw me make, and also a machine block, which is basically the compressed version of um, refined iron, because you can turn it back into it, just like uh, if you put nine in the crafting square of iron or gold or diamonds or whatever. But I'm um, just going to go into my cheap items chest and get three uh, those out. Now, what am I am missing also two cobble. Yeah. So you put two cobble at the sides of the middle section, machine block, electronic circuit, and free flint gives you the materator, a really useful item. And uh, I do have industrial craft noises um, turned off now, and that is because um, industrial craft noise, especially on these machines, can get a little bit loud. Let me put an extra piece of coal inside there so I can power everything up. What I want to do is um, get some more tin stuff going on. So see how much tin I have so as you can see I just chuck the tin inside the macerator now it does take a while to do that's the only real downside is that the macerator is really slow but if we just leave that going on in the background then everything should be fine just gonna check if I have what I need no I don't I was going to make a bed I, was, I thought I may have sheared some, some sheep earlier but it turns out I didn't just going to um chuck some stuff in my uh, chest and it appears that I'm actually running out of space rapidly when it comes to um, chests and stuff now I'm trying to think should I make uh, copper chests or yeah I'm gonna upgrade the all these chests actually straight to iron so yeah as you can see only uh, two tin was used up and now you've got four tin dust that tin dust can be smelted with the furnace into um, Tinning that so you double your oil intake at the price of using up whatever you use to make the energy, whether that's uranium or coal or solar energy. Um, looks like I, yeah, I think I need to put some extra coal inside here. Just to... Shift clicking doesn't really work that well with industrial craft for some reason, but that's something I hope to remedy sometime in the future. So I'm just going to leave some of my uh, stuff to um, cook up. I'm going to leave it until uh, it becomes dawn because you don't really want to see me just walking around the house picking up uh, different items. So I, I will be right back again. I actually have all the materials to build actually the second item on my list, which is da, 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 the bat box. Now this is another thing which will help me improve the efficiency of my machines. I can just destroy my uh, generator like that. Okay, my, all my machines will run out of power if I keep from running for much longer. So I'm just going to chuck my tin inside there. You'll notice that the texture of tin has changed because 
when you macerate things that you it basically turns it inside into the industrial craft version of the ore rather than the um, red power 2 version of the ore in hindsight I think I should have just enabled um, industrial craft ore generation but uh, it's up to you at the end of the day you can actually change it in the mod configs uh, oh god damn it this can get a little bit um, awkward trying to uh, place back boxes especially when you don't have your own um, sorry when you don't actually have uh, your own wrench yet that's me being a, a, a first class idiot already um, I'm going to plop that down and put my generator next to the back box so what's going to happen is when energy gets generated in this generator feeds into the back box and that uh, works as a buffer so whenever the generator sto like generates too much energy it basically keeps it in here so we don't waste anything of course this will only work up to a while until we uh, get some real serious power generation going on because this is real kind of uh, basic um, industrial craft energy production this is only enough to kind of get you by on your basic machines because uh, com it compared to some of the machines that you can get into the fu in the future um, these machines are really basic because I have the advanced machines mod installed which basically provides better versions of the macerator, um, compressor and extractor I think there was already a uh, improved version of the furnace in the normal industrial craft so you have to install that mod to work on that so I'm uh, check all my items, gonna see what's going on. So as you can see, um, the buffer is being built up there. So what I'm gonna do is put all this iron onto Macerate because I, uh, what I'm really uh, needing right now for some of the next things I want to work on is iron. And it looks like it's uh, turning morning, so we can uh, start going around and uh, killing mobs again. Because what I want to do. really involves kind of making sure that there's no mobs outside so yeah I think also think I need to improve my sword whether I'm going to go down and get some uh, more gems in the mine or I'm going to just use some of the um, iron that I've used so far but I'm going to sort out all the mobs outside my house maybe collect a little more uh, rubber and I'll meet you once all my um, equipment's finished and hopefully I'll be able to build the next item. Here's a clue of what it's going to be. Well, it uses diamonds. Well, I'll see you soon. Well, see you in a minute. Right, so I'm back. Uh, I didn't actually need to kill the mobs for this. I just felt like it. Now I can actually build some of the stuff that I wanted to build today. Now, I've set up the recipe already. Uh, the battery, which is the four uh, tin, two redstone, and the uh, cable that I made earlier. Uh, electronic circuit, obviously you know how to make that. Five refined iron in the same shape as you would make an iron furnace with. Gives you a mining drill. Now of course I don't want to just have a mining drill because that wouldn't be too brilliant. So I'm going to add three diamonds to it and get a diamond drill. That uh, A diamond drill holds the same amount of energy as a normal drill. Ooh, and I don't have enough energy in there. I'm just going to get a couple bits of coal. What I want to do is do a little bit more mining between episodes and now the episode will actually be cut a little bit short today uh, but there will be episode 4 which will be up um, either the, the same day today or uh, early tomorrow because what I want to do is have a, probably like a daily schedule for these videos and to do so I feel like um, that we should make some, no I should make some um, short videos so you guys don't get a bit bored of half an hour videos every day maybe I could do a half an hour video maybe on Fridays or uh, maybe you pick a day that it's all up to you um, but uh, I'm going to take this mining drill off for a little bit of a while actually I'm just gonna jump into the cave without actually any food just going to use the last bit of sprinting to get down into the cave because I really want to show you how fast this thing is because it's really cool. This is the cave that I made a uh, lot like at the beginning of the episode which you didn't see which is where I got the four diamonds from. So I'm going to go down let's say two blocks do the same thing. Now see how fast that is and the great thing is it works double. It not only works as a um, as a, uh, a pickaxe it also works as a shovel as well. 
which is really cool. So that means I could just do short mining expedition, collect a reasonable amount of resources, and then just go home, and then charge to drill back up. Of course, this doesn't actually hold that much. So that's why I want to uh, build a, um, looks like there's a, a natural cave up there. I think I might want to go spelunking a bit, seeing as I'm a little more confident about going in caves now. So, uh, see, got some lapis, and I'm going, actually, I think I might do this between uh, today's episode and the next episode, because this drill doesn't hold that much, but it, um, it looks like there's quite a lot of resources in here, and I might be able to find some coal to uh, power everything back up again. So I'll see you in the next episode, uh, and, well, have a good time. Goodbye.